Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to my channel. It's an Amber thing. I am Amber. So, um, I, I had a couple more things that I wanted to say about, um, the Baptist, the Baptist religion. And I can't believe that it just like slipped my mind to say these things yesterday because these things were really important to me and made such a huge difference in my life that I really wanted to make sure that that I mention these things. But um, I don't know how many of you have actually gone back in, you know, my story in my channel and have watched, you know, some of the videos about where I talk about where my... Um, my kid's father passed away, things like that. Um, but I have quite a bit of backstory in some of the videos um, on my channel. So, um, when two years before Brandon passed away, he had decided to go to rehab and, um, he, I, I was at this point attending uh, the Baptist church and I just wanted to really make mention of, I know I said, and I talked about how loving, how loving of a pastor I had and, um, but I, I really wanted to kind of drive, drive this home. You know, I really believe that, that God's spirit is upon that religion I know that they all, you know, vary in their teachings a little bit with, with Baptists. I know there's fundamentalists. I know there's independents. I know that there are, you know, different kinds of Baptists. And I made the mistake and I said fundamental the very first video, but it wasn't a fundamental Baptist church. It was an independent Baptist church. And um, I think that's probably, there's probably huge differences there. And I probably really stuck my foot in my mouth at that point And I apologize, but it was an independent Baptist church. And, um, so I had gone to my pastor, um, and had been, you know, just seeking some help, you know, with, um, helping Brandon. That was the most important thing to me was making sure that he was okay. And, um, my pastor, or there, there was, there is a program and it's called FIT, F-I-T, um, Ministries. And it is a rehab that is associated with um, this Baptist church that I was going to. And when <clears throat> I called um, my pastor, he, he really dropped everything and was there for Brandon and I when we most desperately needed the help. Um, he drove Brandon to a location. It, it was a couple hours away from our house and Brandon, um, was in a rehab, this rehab fit ministries, um, for four months. And it was an absolute amazing program. He, um, he thrived there. He did so well. When he came back, I was like, whoa, who are you? <laughs> That's how drastic of a change this ministry made in his life. He um, didn't cuss. He attended church regularly. He loved it. It was something that he loved. And while he was there, he got baptized and was saved. And I'm so thankful for that. But had we not had such a wonder, wonderfully loving pastor that dropped everything and helped Brandon get to a location where he would be safe and where he could actually receive the help that he needed, we would have lost Brandon a lot sooner than we did. Um, I remember, you know, driving home, picking him up after, you know, the, the three and a half, four months had passed and driving home with him and feeling like, um, there was just such a profound 
change that had taken place within him, you could see it. There was like a light shining from within him that I had never seen before. And it was truly a beautiful sight. Um, they, they did a lot there, you know, with him and, and the people that he worked with, you know, that were a part of this ministry were so loving and kind and really, really helped him through such a, such a difficult time, you know, being away from your family and, and just trying to do better in your life. Sometimes those steps are not easy. I can't imagine, you know, how difficult it was for him, but I wanted to mention that. I wanted to mention that because I know that, um, um, you know, I, towards the end, I was like, and I kind of didn't like, you know, this and that about it, you know, but, but really, truly, um, it was a wonderful experience for me and for the children and for Brandon as well. And so I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that part about it. Um, and I'm here picking up the little guys, so I'm going to go because they're going to jump in the car right now and it's going to be super loud, but I will talk to you all very soon. Namaste, everybody. Have a beautiful day.